an English-speaking society, similar culture and established drug networks. Some of the factors that make cities like Amsterdam such attractive destinations for British suspects on the run. Among them, 50-year-old Robert Stephen Gerrard, originally from Liverpool. He's accused of trying to smuggle huge quantities of cocaine into the UK. Rez Garzengana was found guilty of raping a 25-year-old woman in Scotland after tricking her into believing he was a taxi driver. British criminals traditionally have uh, considered the Netherlands to be a safe haven. The message today that it is that it's not a safe haven. If you choose to continue your criminal activity within the Netherlands, it which impacts on the UK, we will track you down. And they're aiming to replicate the success of similar campaigns in Spain. From a balcony just north of Benidorm, special forces pounced on Andrew Moran. Last month, he was sentenced to six and a half years for drug and gun crimes. Mark Lilly became known as the Naked Fugitive after police in Malaga released this footage. They found him locked inside a panic room. He's now serving time in Britain's high security Belmarsh prison. According to Crime Stoppers, many British suspects seeking sanctuary overseas often travel between Spain and the Netherlands. Both of these countries already have large expat communities. Here in the Netherlands, there are more than 41,000 Brits living legally. So it's relatively easy for the suspects to blend in. They are related to drug-related crime. They carry firearms, usually for their own protection. Uh, but who knows what will, they will do with them. We don't want them. That, that's the point. We don't want firearms. We don't want drug dealings. And we don't want criminals. They hope that making these profiles public will leave the fugitives with nowhere to hide. Anna Holligan, BBC News, in The Hague.